MeToo movement that has taken the Malayalam film industry by storm ever since the release of the Justice Hema Committee report. The allegations continue to send shockwaves in the industry. A total of 12 FIRs have been registered until now as women from the Malayalam film industry continue to come forward with charges of sexual misconduct. In the latest, a fresh complaint has been filed against director Ranjit. This is the second complaint against the director. As politics rages, opposition continues to build pressure on the government demanding the resignation of CPIM MLA Mukesh. A Mukesh lawyer has blamed the complainant and has accused her of using the situation for personal benefit. There is a very severe allegation against him from one of uh, uh, an actress. But this is from almost 15 years ago. And uh, right now, we've seen that uh, you have moved an anticipatory bail in the uh, Ernakulam court. And uh, there has been a temporary stay on the arrest also. No, the arrest has been withheld for six days. Six days. It is just withholding it for six days. So we could see your difference in the petition that you filed. There is complete denial of all allegations. Is it true? Absolutely. See, she is a low graduate. She claims that she is a PhD holder. She has a father. She ha she was working in international law firm. Now, she has been abused by seven persons in uh, past 15 years. No complaint so far. And no, after 15 years, after he, she has not uh, uh, given a statement to the community also. Now, on a fine morning, she comes and says that, see, X was abused, Y was abused, Z was abused. You cannot accept it without a pinch of salt. Okay. And there are ever so many circumstances which will pinpoint to the allegation that it is a falsely fabricated. Ever so many, ever so many things are there. there are, um, documentary evidence are there, circumstances are there, all points to the falsity of this case. The National Commission for Women has also taken note of the matter and has directed the Vijayan led government to publish the full report. Varshini Ramu, my colleague, joins me for more. Varshini, we also heard that conversation that you did have, essentially putting things into perspective as far as in a way that uh, we are looking at the mis misconduct kind of allegations that have come through, but more importantly, the investigation that's picking up pace. But at the same time, a lot that has happened as far as this case is also concerned, politics also playing out over the same. What do we know so far? Uh, well, if you see right now, what we are looking at is a, a very intense investigation that is ongoing, the special investigation team that has been constituted, particularly hmm. to investigate the complaints that are coming in. Uh, we have a very uh, important team led by women police officers, in fact, uh, uh, and uh, they have been uh, reaching out to every single victim who's spoken out, and uh, they have been uh, even filing FIRs against the uh, people that these women are alleging, putting out allegations against. And on the other hand, we are seeing legal proceedings being taken forward by the uh, people who are uh, accused in as well. Like, in fact, MLA Mukesh, who has now already moved to the uh, court to asking for an anticipatory bail. Uh, and uh, we are seeing uh, actor Siddiq, who's also uh, moved to the court in bedroom where he's seeking all the uh, uh, FIRs and uh, complaint copies for him to uh, move an anticipatory bail as well. And uh, ex expectation that actor Jai Surya could also move in for an anticipatory bail. So there are so many uh, legal proceedings that is happening because the case government has taken complete responsibility on this matter. They have said that they will uh, investigate and they will uh, provide justice if anybody is found, uh, you know, guilty in this matter. And if any victim uh, is, uh, the, 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 the issue of the victim to be proved true, they will be definitely provided with all justice is what the Kerala government has assured of them. So that is also being uh, seen very, uh, in this point, all the legal proceedings are happening. But on the other hand, there is a mass that we saw. So the film industries from other film industries, people and actors from other film industries also starting to talk on the other hand, which is increasing the momentum, which is increasing the chorus and support for uh, the fight that uh, is ongoing in the Malayalam film industry. We saw the Actors Association General Secretary of Tamil Film Industry speaking a couple of days to, uh, ago to us. And uh, today we've uh, seen, uh, yesterday we saw actress Samar 
Shankar Uth Prabhu taking to social media where she has spoken about how they are going to try and see if there is an opportunity to do this in the Telugu film right. industry also to have a committee like Hema committee to work on them and uh, uh, today actress Mala Paul has spoken mm -hmm. to us so it's definitely All right. in fact as you point that, that out Varshan as to more reactions that are coming in not just from the Malayalam film industry we're looking at very similar things uh, that are being voiced for in other industries as well I'm going to come back to you as far as that is concerned Varshini stay with me but as Varshini tracks this for us she also did catch up with lead actress Amala Paul on the Me Too movement in Mollywood listen I am as shocked as, you know, the entire nation uh, right now. Um, it was uh, um, uh, heartbreaking to hear. Um, I mean, a lot of things that we have already seen and, uh, uh, you know, in terms of junior artists, you know, not getting proper uh, uh, hygiene places to, you know, for their basic needs and, uh, you know, changing and all that. Uh, I really hope that, you know, this is to this point and with a lot of effort, the report is out. So just praying that you know this uh, become uh, fruitful and all efforts pays off and uh, the right justification uh, uh, will be served that's what we want right Me Too movement that has taken the malayalam film industry by storm ever since the release of the justice hema committee report the allegations continue to send shockwaves in the industry a total of 12 fir's registered until now as women from the malayalam film industry continue to come forward with charges of sexual misconduct in the latest, a fresh complaint has been filed against director Ranjit. This is the second complaint against the director. As politics rages, opposition continues to build pressure on the government, demanding the resignation of CPIM MLA Mukesh. A Mukesh lawyer has blamed the complainant and has accused her of using the situation for personal benefit. There is a very severe allegation against him from one of uh, uh, an actress. But this is from almost 15 years ago and uh, right now we have seen that uh, you have moved an anticipatory bail in the uh, Ernakulam court and uh, there has been a temporary stay on the arrest also. No, this arrest has been withheld for six days. Six days. It is just withholding it for six days. So we could see your difference in the petition that you filed. There is complete denial of all allegations. Is it true? Absolutely. See. She is a low graduate. She claims that she is a PhD holder. She has a father. She ha she was working in an international law firm. Now, she has been abused by seven persons in the uh, past 15 years. No complaint so far. And no after 15 years. After he, she has not uh, uh, given a statement to the committee also. Now, on a fine morning, she comes says that see X was abused, Y was abused, Z was abused. You cannot accept it without a pinch of salt. And there are ever so many circumstances which will pinpoint to the allegation that it is a falsely fabricated case. Ever so many, ever so many things are there. there are documentary evidence are there, circumstances are there, all points to the falsity of this case.